And good morning and welcome to my channel. Or welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're well. And I do hope you're keeping safe. <clears throat> it is... I've just gone, put some stuff in the workbench. Um, tidied up my bits. Oh. And now we're heading back to Bunker Hill. Who knows, we might... Oh, and we've got... Always nice to uh, have a few more raiders. Only three. Aww. Back street apparel, huh? If you see anything nice, grab it for Lieutenant Harkins. She likes playing dress up and hitting good neighbor. Okay. Don't ask. No, nope, that's fine. Early this year. Forty-six out of fifty-four. Oh. There we go. Right. Yeah. Loving the bleachers mob. Mod. Mob. Mod. I have to say, Lily is a very complex character and really well done. Right, okay. Hang on. Are we on? No, we are now. There you go. Oh, I can see what's coming. <clears throat> right. Yes, I'm thinking... We've got to get this and the cards done. And the grand thing is, when we do that... Hang on. We should... Be able to, um... Oh, move Lily's quest forward. I know I'm not heading directly to Bunker Hill. I do like knocking those things over. Um, have we got these guys back yet? <clears throat> I want to get Lily's the cards done. No, they're not back yet, are they? Nope. Hello, V. Um. Hello. Yo. Uh, Mr. Shifter. Nope. Oh, I don't need more junk. Stop. I do not need more. I should sell the junk I've got, except I have got shed loads. Um. Well, I suppose what we could do is, because we've got a few minutes, I don't... Actually, do you know what? No, we'll head off to... That's same. Oh, that's just jumped to my desktop, sorry. Probably trying to tell me that I should be buying an upgrade to something or, you know, something of that nature. Hello. I haven't been here in a while. Oh. oh, hello. Yeah, I think we should be, because it's about six to eight, I think we need. Let's go get some raiders, because there's nothing more fun than killing raiders. Oh, hello. Oh. There you go. There you go, my friend. Um, I'll have those. You can have one of those. Oh, I'm not really sure I will. Oh, uh -huh. I believe. Yep, I won't count him. Because I did not kill him, neither did Lily. Hi. Stubborn. I'll give you that. Good head, Raider. Wow. With a board. You down. 
Yeah. Nicely done. I love the table as well, actually. Sea breeze. I don't want some sea breeze. I do want that, though. How many is that? Four more to go? I don't... Doesn't seem to be any more over here. Oh, that's a shame. What have we got in here? Permapna um, exterminator. Okay. Um. Didn't really want the brawling thing, but never mind. <clears throat> Definitely going to have uh, less junk and scrap on the next one. Hang on, let's put this away. Didn't do that one, did I? Never mind. Alright, good girl. Good girl. Right, let's head to Bunker Hill, shall we? Let's get rid of that. Really gone this route before. Anyway, Bunker Hill. They need us. Oh, they don't really. It's going to be. Hey. Oh, hello. Uh, um. Oh, hello. You're in there, aren't you? Because that's the school. We did it again. We killed all those poor raiders. Oh, you did. Well done, Heather. That counts. You ever wonder why people carry around a single pool ball? Or maybe a baseball mitt, but no baseball. Weird, right? Ow! That hurt, you dick. <laughs> Sorry, Lily. Oh, hello, you guys. You managed to get the killing shot. There's another one. Um, see you. Oh, wow. All right. Tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. There you go. Oh, you can. S Whoop! The days eat ghouls over there. Sugar. One of them. Um. Definitely counts as a raider. No. Another one? That's, um... Huh? That's quite impressive. Okay, because the other one, because it's power armor, doesn't really come off easily at all. But that one's not power armor. So that's good news. Did I put a card on these two? Or this one? One more. Oh, hello. That's what it was designed for. Ooh. Need backup. Oh, sorry, Heather. Where are you? Okay. Those who never win and never quit are fucking idiots. Okay. Thank you for that. That was possibly the um what were you? You don't count as a raider. Well like one more to get. One more raider. Let's see. And then we've done that, which will be awesome. Yeesh, I gotta tell ya, those budget cuts have really taken their toll. Please remind your parents that the loading zone on Tremont is for buses only. Oh, actually, what I did want to do is I did want to put... Mm, those. Babs told me there's a lot of dead skin flakes in dust. 
I think we got a couple oh. of behemoths worth in here. And don't you say swing on the other asshole. side. What was um Okay. Come out, come out. Oh hello. Nothing there now. Sign up for Saturday practice starting next month with sister I All right. Stay calm. It wasn't your fault. All right, that's the last of the cards. These fuckers definitely know I'm back now. Let's go shake a tree in good neighbor. See what falls out. But first, we gotta swing by Babs at the greenhouse. Got an idea for something that'll make my contact sing like a canary. Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, but not yet. Chained on the oh, other yeah. side. That's not the way out. That's the way out. All right, but we've got this good neighbor thing to do first. Now, with any luck, this is going to be the last one. Oops, sorry. Because we're on the wrong side of Boston and the Charles. Hi oh, everybody, you're right. Yeah, just running through. Keep going. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, a synth component. There are lots of synths. All right, where are we heading? Do, 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 do. Now we've got your stuff, X. Okay, yeah, so I'll say X because that's the button that lets me um, auto run. Mm, excuse me. Yep, got my coffee, got my squash. It's like, yep, tend to drink about five litres of squash now. Well, oh, the five liters plus coffees on top. Shouldn't really count. We shouldn't have many coffees because diuretic makes you wee more. Not that I need any help. Bad. Not drinking five liters. All right. So where are we heading? Oh, it is Bunker Hill. Right. La 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 la. Yeah, definitely start to need a challenge now. This is what I find when I play like Horizon at level 60. You know, there's just. There are occasional ones. There are. Excuse me, there are some synths that are horrendous. Really horrible. We've not done all of Heather's quests, but you know what? Wants to go there. All name On too. Way, soldier. Dinky donkey. All right. What's this one going to be? Is this going to be a moral conundrum? I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. Oh, it's K, isn't it? We're coming to see. Yep, remember now. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. He's been dead too long. And that head injury, it's just too serious. Yeah, I, sh I did I shoot okay. him in the head. I knew it the moment I saw him. Just oh, okay. give up without trying. I don't know what we're going to do without hey, uh, him. Hey, you think maybe they keystick something? <laughs> you slap on a rubber glove and check. Give me a few minutes here, Lily. Be right there. No. Don't touch me. Stay away from us. Sorry. You scared me. Thought you might be the ones who killed him. Raiders. My husband's friends said they killed him. It wasn't far from here. I was just scared. We went outside the walls to get his body. Thought maybe you followed us. They killed him right over there. 
Oh, fuck. I <laughs> hate raiders. Yeah. They killed my daddy. <laughs> I know, baby. I know. Me too. We'll kill some raiders Wish for you, kid. Don't worry. Just give mommy another minute. He was an honest scaver. Out with his two friends trying to find stuff to sell. They told me they were attacked by raiders. And barely got away with their lives. He was a good man. He cared about us. He didn't deserve this. Please, be careful when you leave. They're still out there somewhere. Lily, honey, take it easy. Is she okay? What's uh, happening? Mommy, uh, she's, she's frozen. Me. She's frozen Please, up. You're, you're scaring us. Just, just go away. We need to go after her. We do. Come on. Oh, maybe she's going to come tr come clean now. Find Lily. Well, she's right there. Uh, no, no, no. So, if I did... Oh, dear. So, she's going to go and confess to the sheriff that she's been doing all these bad things. And... Oh, not all since the bad, apparently, might be the message there. This is going to be a long run. Are we going that way or that way? We're going this way, through the raiders. Maybe. Okay, anyway, right. Um, yep. Well, we need to go and see Babs anyway, so... That, that might be taking a bit of a back burner. better probably gonna need some more of these as well how are we doing here a few more plasmas might have to um can't even hey there not now I need to talk to the sheriff off you go okay do 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 we're gonna um uh... what we Lily where are you going I've no idea where Lily's off to now. Because this is not where the sheriff's is. Uh, hang left. Oh, there's Cooper Mutants. Yep. Hang. No. What? No. This takes us in a great big circle. What I'm going to do is going to save here. Because this is just heading back to Bunker Hill. Well, hang on, is it? Or are we going the... No, no, I... Yes, it is. But Let's see if we take a right or a left ahead, shall we? Hmm. So where is Lily? going oh uh, okay whoops oh that hit the car uh thruster Gonna command, right? Oh, for goodness sake, I just... Oh, some more plasma, that'll be good. Right. 
Oh, it's one of my boys. That's okay. Oh, and a wastelander. Ha, can't believe someone paid you to fight. No. Uh. Do not attempt to play. Will be identified. There we go. You ready to die? Um. Oh, they're over there. That's fine. Oh, now Lily has gone. There she goes. Is that her? Could be. Uh, oh, no. There we go. Is that Lily? That's Lily. Okay, hang on. Let me give Heather and myself a couple of bits. Um. I didn't need two of those. We just have a bite to eat. Oh, Lily, seriously, mayhem. Are we going past all the razor bases? Seriously, are we actually going to attack every single thing? Oh, oh okay. Don't you attack my robot? Okay, how are we doing? Okay. Oh, I've got my glasses on. No. I really should. Hang on. Let's pause for a moment. Put my glasses on. Oh, hello. There. Okay. Um target lost. Attempting to reacquire. Off you go. Oh. Heather, well done. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, there you go. Alright, I think. We can tell if Lily starts running, can't we, really? Oh, um, did you hear that? Dear Lord, that's... We've got a behemoth we're heading to as well. Oh. Seriously, Lily, we're just... Hang on. Right, no. Okay, I didn't want the assault rifle. I'll carry it for the time being. I would imagine Lily went this way. There she is. There it is. Although she's doing a grand job. So that's a suicider. Oh, and a bit of stuff. That's nice. This is bullshit. I've got a hand. There you go. Everything's starting to sound like footsteps these days. Darren, get down! What was that? It's broken. Ah! There you go. You're just greedy. You've got two assault rifles. 
I'm glad I've got a fairly good set of armor, to be honest. Right. Now, oh, Lily. Oh, I don't think she came this way. Come on. Um, oh, hang on. Listen for the shooting. That's probably going to be Lily. Does sound like it's over here. Have you still got a dog uh, left? Hey there. You look like someone. <laughs> I'll uh -oh. play another dog. Okay. Yeah, um. We're in top Excuse nursery. Me. I guess that'll have to be okay. Come on. Okay, girl. This is your new owner. Oh, He's bless you, Jane. Cheers, Jane. Go on now. I mean, I think realistically, I should run her there but obviously I'm not going to oh there you're a wastelander mm. oh I saw someone over there uh, oh no that's just all the brotherhood nope they're not going to okay I think we probably lost Lily and that I don't know is that the point And the sheriff's going to be upset with us. Hmm. Oi. Well, come on. Let's get moving, shall we? Press run. See, one of the joys of having a very high insurance, that's them, is you can run for miles. Not literally. Oh, you lost someone. There's only three of you. That's sad. Could be four. But we're doing okay. Talk about running around, though. We must have covered probably 20% of Boston today. We go. Nope, this way. In through the Sarge. Delano and rounds the coroner. Ah, oh. and oh, I'll have a slurpy slurpy. Nope, thought that might be Heather, but going totally the wrong direction. Oh, they've obviously heard something. Uh, I want to go to the Sarge, which is this side. There he is. And when we get there again, we'll stay. There we go. All right. All right. Oop. Not using quick save. I don't know why they added it really when it can. I suppose they probably didn't realise that it could cause problems, certainly on longer plays. Did they expect anyone to play for days and days? Hi. After the sheriff. Keep moving, scatter. Indeed. This is going to be. Interesting, although are we here yet? Mm. 
Oh. Well. Oh, okay. So we should have probably gone in the other direction. As I said last time, I still haven't got this one. Sheriff? Yes, Lily. What is it? Come on, let's just get out of the way. I will save just a case. Again. Founder. I I don't know what to do. What are you talking about, Lily? Oh God, Sheriff, I need your help. I lied to you and I asked Luna to lie and, and, and then Ozzy, um I did something and and Calm down, Lily. It's okay. I think I know what this is about. I'm sure but she I, does. But I sit down and take some deep breaths. Uh-huh. Okay. Sheriff. I I have something I need to tell you. First, did anyone hurt you? No, it's worse than that. Much worse. This is about the synth hunter contracts you two did a poor job of hiding from me, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Oh god, Sheriff. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. You knew the whole time, didn't you? How? Maybe you wouldn't Delano told me your friend showed up only the next day wanting to take the job I wouldn't give to you. Or maybe when Luna handed me the bag of railroad holotapes and told me everything about how you took <laughs> oh, the job good old Luna. wanted her to lie to me about it. <coughs> I see. I'm so stupid. And I killed this synth and he, he, he... Take a deep breath. Say it slow. He had... Oh God. I'm a monster. His family has nobody now, and I can't take it back. We can't take anything back in this business. No, very true. You knew this was gonna happen, didn't you? Delano asked me what I wanted her to do about it. I told her that you needed to learn on your own. Just keep you away from the Institute. <sighs> I knew when I wasn't going to be able to stop you. I'd hoped you'd stop yourself. But I didn't. I killed him. And then, and then his wife came for his body and Annie's kids. Oh, God. Oh, my little Lily. You did a lot of growing up today, didn't you? Mm -hmm. My tough little girl. Very much so. You've come a long way from the kid that used to follow me around Diamond City and copy everything I did. There's more jobs to run, but you're not running them anymore, are you? No. Never again. I hate the Institute. But this? I can't do this. So, before I say anything, remember that you did indeed stop yourself. Like I hoped you would. But it's already done! I, I can't take it back! I can't take any of them back! Nope. You're right. Raiders and gunners, super mutants, the coursers, and ones that know what they are. Those bodies aren't so hard to step over. I know you've done it before, Sheriff. Everyone hears the stories about what happens to me wagons you catch in the fence they're never seen again. It's true. They never leave here. They could be recording everything for the Institute. Or a walking bomb and never even know it. How do you go on? How do you do it when they're begging? To be frank, they never see it coming. It's the least we can do. But I know you mean my conscience. I suppose I was fortunate in a sense. What do you mean? What happened? The Brotherhood inures their cadets to violence as part of the curriculum. I had killed my first captive raider by seven. They put him in a cage and made me shoot him while he begged for his life. He didn't deserve to live, but no child deserves to be made to kill. That was only the first class of the semester that year. But how Must have got through a lot scar of raiders. Tissue. That's what my mentor in the Brotherhood called it. When you wound your soul, it heals with scar tissue like any other part of you. Harder, rigid, more resistant to damage. He believed the Brotherhood's scar tissue was keeping it from recognizing the pain of the capital's people. That we had seen so much violence, done so much looting and sometimes killing, that we saw nothing wrong with the people's suffering. We didn't see how they could possibly be of use 
So we discarded them and turned a deaf ear to their pain. He worked very hard to change that. But his ideology was ultimately pushed aside for a more selfish one. So you saying I have to get used to it? I'm saying the opposite, Lily. Getting used to it is not something you ever want. This thing you came to me for, how to not feel this guilt? <clears throat> There's no magic fix. There's no fix at all. And it's not a place I want you to be. It would be worse if you didn't feel anything. I would have failed you. You would be like me, or the lieutenants, or Oaks. Those tears on your face right now? They mean you aren't a monster. Oh. It's not too late. You really think so? I know so, Lily. You don't want to hear it. But part of what you might need is going back to face that family. To tell them the entire truth. I know. I want to. I will. Make me feel... better. Even if it made me feel worse, if that makes any sense. It makes perfect sense, Lily. Sheriff? What did you mean by you would be failing me? I... Look, when you're born into the Brotherhood, there's certain things that are decided for you. Things you don't get a say in. And... One of the things that was decided for me is... Oh, well, kind of kid. I wanted... A... It's complicated, Lily. I didn't get to... It's okay, Sheriff. Crenshaw told me the other day. Is it true? Just tell me that. Yes, <clears throat> Lily, it's true. You... I consider you my... Excuse me. This is very difficult for me, Lily. I hoped it was. So much. I love you too, Sheriff. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to say it back. I, I feel the same way. I know now. Oh, excuse me. I know. I've been wanting to say something else, Sheriff. What is it? You remember that day I brought Luna and McGilly here. How could I forget? I hadn't <clears> seen <throat> you in months and months. Then you came into the yellow zone in your own T60. <laughs> you were maybe 14 years old at most. Well, that would have been a loose fit. Spears told me later you had to tie blocks to your feet so you could stand in the power armor frame. <laughs> You were still very angry at me for not deputizing you and Zeke. You told me to burn in hell, among other anatomically difficult things. <laughs> you wanted to hurt me that day with your words. They did, Lily. I thought we... I... had lost you for good. I didn't mean any of it. I... I cried all the way back to the Adam Cats. I'm so sorry I said that to you. I, I didn't want to leave, but I get so mad. I wish you had stayed too. We would have had two more years together. But we are both stubborn. All we have is now. Will you be okay? No. Yes. I think so. I don't know. This is one of the worst days of my life, and now it's one of the best. Mm. But they're both still with me. I don't know how to feel. I think I'll just cry myself to sleep tonight. Maybe that's what you need. Why don't you come find me later when you're alone? We can have a couple of shots. We've got a lot to talk about. Indeed you have. Okay, I will. Thank you, Sheriff. For everything. No more synth hunting. I can't do it anymore. I appreciate you helping me, but... It's more than I can handle. We'll have to find another way to help. But first... There's, uh, something I need to take care of at the Atom Cat Garage. You'll see when we get there. Oh, we're going there now? Okay. I'll keep an eye on her, Sheriff. You are as insightful as you are valuable. Mm. We are in your debt. Oh, here we are. Okay. Oh, blooming heck. Um, do you know what? I'm gonna go and see. Hopefully Babs is okay and she can give me that quest as well. Oh. My word. How are we doing? And we save. Here we are. Hi. Hey, sis. Can I get some oranges, please? They're for a friend. Sure. <clears throat> as long as you don't go trying to compare them to apples. Huh? 
<laughs> Never mind. I'm doing fine, Lily. Thanks for asking. Of course you can have some fruit. Scurvy is a constant worry around here. Mm -hmm. Between the poor diets and the background ionizing radiation, it's a wonder more people don't have scurvy, rickets, or other developmental disorders. You should think about a bone density test and a red blood cell count on a regular basis, Ooh. given your usual exposure levels. I have them. Oh, I asked for some fruit, not a science lesson. You do this every time. Sorry. Force of habit. Just grab them off the table under the steps there. You just in the mood for some oranges, I take it? Um, we're playing poker with some caravan guards, and want to use the oranges for betting. Yeah, uh... I was, uh, just, you know, craving some oranges. Anyway, thanks, Babs. Catch you later. Well, at least I know you'll be safe and good, neighbor. Please be careful out there, <laughs> Lily. We just got you back. Uh, okay, right. Excuse me one second. And and we're back. That was some strange noises. Alright, so Oh, okay, I know. They're um someone up the road's having their driveway done, so that's someone chopping bricks. Ah, oh, right. Well uh... Yep, pretty strange. Can't be too close though, because Heidi's throwing her head off on the ZT, so. Yeah. Oh, strange. Uh, eight o'clock. If anything o happens, the security force has the situation under control. Right. <laughs> oh, pressure, uh, Lily. Okay, I'll see you back in a bit when we get to the Atom Cat's place. Gear. You know, oh, for goodness sake. Give some of that nice shit you got instead of treat me like your own pack There's bro. nothing like the feeling of strutting around. There we are. We are back. Right. Uh, let's follow. Oh, okay. We're over here to the grave again, I take it. <clears throat> there you go. I was hoping they didn't have a chance to throw her out to feed the Maya lurks yet. Mm-hmm. I haven't told anyone what really happened the night I was kidnapped. Not the entire story. I got... I got to thinking when the sheriff was talking. I wanted to come back and put those markers back on the grave. I can't let it just be forgotten like this. Uh, are you re ready to tell me it? I guess so. After that thing I did, I owe it to her down there to tell somebody your story. So what happened when they had you? I don't like to think about it. But maybe it's time. You don't know what they did to her. I ain't told nobody yet because it's just so... It's just so damn evil. It hurts to think about it. Makes me sick to my stomach. I can't just let it die with me. Makes you wonder. We talk about how harsh this world is and rationalize how we can keep going in the face of this horror we were condemned to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've dropped people who had it coming into meat grinders. Literally. I've always known what side of the line I was on. You get numb to the violence. And then... Something happens to snap you out of it. A new atrocity. And that's what this was. What they did to her? I thought nothing could faze me anymore. I just told everyone the Institute showed up with her. They kind of assumed she was on a cart or already dead. But she wasn't. They walked her in on her own two feet. She had my face, but... She looked like she'd only had her eyes open for a few minutes. She was looking around at everything, mouth open, amazed at this new thing called the world, breathing and being alive, pure as one of Babs' bees. I mean, Babs said she didn't have synth components, so I doubt she knew much of what was going on. They led her just like a lamb to the slaughter. They made me get undressed, then they put my clothes on her while she just silently stood there. 
Those raiders have been eyeing my scalp for years. And what they said they were gonna do to me then and there as they were looking at me like that? As if I needed a reason to hate them more after killing my parents? They were full on planning to gang rape me. Those fucks. The courses said the scientists needed my mind intact and would kill anyone that touched me. Would you believe that? Saved from that. From what the raiders do to people like me by a courser. But those assholes weren't done with my double, no. They had to make the murder look convincing. The courser told the raiders to have their way with her and then beat her to death. And she just stood there. She didn't know any words. She had no been. idea what they were saying. What those bats and chains they were waving in her face meant. She was just fascinated by them. And those fucking animals. They just fell on her, hooting and hollering like the predators they are. There was nothing human in them. She had no idea. I saw the confusion in her eyes after the first blow, the pain after they... After they... She had no idea what was happening. She screamed in pain, threw up her arms as they kicked and stomped her. They just poured it on, rib after broken rib. It was awful. Eventually, she wasn't screaming no more. She was coughing on her own blood. And then, she wasn't coughing or trying to protect herself after that. She was dying. She'd given up. They stopped, finally. The face covered in blood flipped her over. She was only barely alive. And they drove that tie iron into her back. She looked right at me, damn it. She didn't know what was going on. Why it hurt so bad. I watched her eyes go dead. What was she, maybe 10 minutes old? Her entire 10 minute life from start to finish was the moldy basement of an old warehouse and horrible pain. Can't even begin to describe the fear and confusion in her eyes like, like a child caught in a crossfire of a war. Taking their last breath. I must have had the same look <clears> on <throat> my face when those raiders jumped my parents and left me an orphan. But then that scaver I shot, I saw it in his eyes too. He didn't know what he was. He never had a chance against me or knew why he was dying, just that it was happening. And I'm the one who put it there. I'm no better than the raider who left an orphan now. And I hate myself for it. That's where all this got me. <clears throat> what are you going to do now? Well, I'm done being a synth hunter. That's for damn sure. Gotta go find what's left of that family and salvage what I can sometime soon. But the Institute? They do this every day, to countless people. There's gotta be something we can do. I just don't know what. I see now why the Sheriff didn't want me near that stuff. But I've gotta <clears throat> push for something I can do to make a difference. Hmm, makes sense. Hey girl, I didn't see you come in. How long you been here for? Hey, sugar butt. I'm happier to see you than you know. Just got here. It's gonna come see you next. What's up? Well, I hate to be the person who turns you right around, but Bob radioed a couple of hours ago looking for you. Must be where you were heading over. Seems there's been an emergency with the water supply. She needs to get you oh, back over there right heck. away. Oh, The cistern? Shit. We better get the hell over there right away. You got your shit packed to move into the bleachers yet? I do, but we've been watching the gunners over at Quincy. They've been pretty busy lately. We radioed the sheriff to let her know. I'll come back for them as well. She asked us to keep her updated on them. It's got Zeke pretty spooked. He's worried they might make a play for our power armor next. None of the gang knows Quincy like I do. So I volunteered to stick around there a couple more weeks. I can't leave the family hanging. You know that. I do. Rizzo, I do. It's, it's been a hell of a week. Make sure they're safe. Tell everyone I said hi <clears> and <throat> I'll be back. Be back in a few days. Oh, and Rizzo, one other thing. Uh, can you guys put the grave markers back up and leave her here? As a favor? For me? Oh, uh, sure, hon. Any reason for the change of heart? You were fit to dig it up yourself last time you was here. It's kind of complicated. I'll tell you next time I see you. It's been a rough week. Just remember, I love you. I love you too. We tell Bob to hold that spot in the greenhouse for our wedding. Be safe out there. 
Hey, let's get on over to Diamond City. We ain't got no time to waste. This oh, is yeah, about yeah. the cistern. <clears throat> it's gotta be an emergency. Okay. Oh. Completed. Hurrah. Okay, well, um, I'll see you back at Diamond City. Wow, this is jumping all over the place today. And we're back. I fast travelled here. Gonna have to get some more food soon, everyone. Yes. Oh, there you go. Yes, yes. Here we are. Doctor, no, you're not there, so, alright. Oh, hello. How are we doing for time? Hello there. Hello there, Twisted Mister. Um, where am I heading? Hang on. Uh, Nuka World. We've done that. Okay. Well, oh, we're going to have to go to the cistern, aren't we? I would assume. I would assume. Shouldn't assume. I suppose I might get access and I might get to know my way round one day. Well, um, I... Alright, just coming through. Do, 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 do. Um, and... And more. That must be carried on from last time. Right, come on. Load, load, load. Gary! Gary, hey, how you doing? Our Far Harbor inspired camouflage pattern is perfect <coughs> for marshes and swamps. Take it from me, <coughs> I grew up there. Well, thank you, Sister We're Luna. Wolves. A thousand miles from Graceland, but at arm's length from some serious boom. Thank you. Right, oh, where's this? Right field ground floor. God, I'm glad I've got markers on this. I'd never find it. Do 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 do. Right, um, oh, here we are. Oh, uh. <clears throat> oh, did the Institute find out about this? Oh, if Lily knew, they obviously knew, so. Oh, are they tunneling in? That'd be interesting, wouldn't it, really? Na, 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 na. Oh, loading screen. Make a save. Right, how we doing? Oh, my head. Okay. I'm glad you two are here. We don't have any time to waste. Yeah, guys, this is some pretty serious shit we got going on here. Okay. Hey, gang, what's up? Why are we down here? Something looks di- Oh, my God. Babs, w where are all the roots? Oh, yeah? You're dead, Lily. Let me explain. Yeah, but what the hell happened? Shut up, Lily. Let her explain. Sorry. Someone put herbicide in the cistern water. Ooh. How'd they do that? The sheriff is going to explain that part. It's why we needed Lily for your part. Okay, uh, right. Well, that's a bad thing. There must be something we can do. There is. We have a plan already. Others are out doing their parts right now, but we need Lily for something very specific. Okay. Uh, so what happens next? Well, the greenhouse and the bleachers are safe. For now. The vault tech purifier detected it and immediately shut down the intake. Thankfully, not a single drop made it into the greenhouse. That, that's impressive. But the entire cistern is contaminated. I need to neutralize it with a treatment before we can turn the pumps back on. You said it's safe for now. How long we got? Not long at all. I've got enough water for the greenhouse and the tanks for two days. The rest of us immediately have to go into water rationing. Okay. Just how much water are we talking here, Bob? No showers, food, or fabric operations. I mean... The water is safe for us and for fabrics. It's an herbicide, not a person side. But the entire bleacher's water supply goes through the Vault Tech purifier and into the same tanks I use for the greenhouse. We don't have a branched water supply. 
It means we all have the cleanest water outside of any vault, but it also means we draw from the same reserve. Okay. You're going to have to use bottled soda instead of the soda fountain. And stop other business. We can't spare water to wash dishes or prep food. The problem is the entire East Wall complex uses between 30 and 40,000 liters of water a day. Wow. More during a heat wave. My greenhouse uses about 80% of that. Textile uses 10%, and the remainder is for the diner and the rest of the bleachers and sheriff's department. Shit, that's a lot of water. I had no idea, Bob. I can scale back operation and turn us back into a bottle soda shop until it's fixed, yeah. Keeping that greenhouse running is more important. Couldn't agree Thanks, more. DP. I'm going to cut back the vines today to save water for the cotton and crops. Removing as much gas exchange surface area from the greenhouse as possible can get us a few more days out of our supply. This isn't a problem that can't be fixed, but it's going to take industrial-scale chemical interventions, and it has to happen fast. Right. Unfortunately, the treatment is at Mass Chem, and Lily... Yeah, I'm not going back there. That's yeah. right, you're not. We sent Crenshaw already. We need you for something else. The sheriff will explain. We initially thought this was an inside job, as cistern security is so high. That didn't turn out to be the case. Oh. The card reader log shows Deputy Hewitt was the only one who accessed the cistern in the last 24 hours. The scout that got killed by the gunners a couple months ago on the east side? The same. We reported his death accurately, but withheld certain details from the report to aid in the investigation. Specifically, there were signs of torture on his body, oh. and his badge and card were missing along with most of his other belongings. At the time, we attributed it to typical gunner greed. But now that his card has been used to access the cistern, we are suspecting something more. We're running on the assumption he was tortured into giving up intel about the department prior to being murdered and dumped. The easiest explanation after that would be they hired or threatened a Green Zone secure civilian into accessing the cistern with the card. Someone we know and see regularly. Someone who wouldn't attract attention wandering around right field by themselves. Hmm, the gunners, huh? You think they might still be a bit sore about, uh, you know. There wasn't any reason to suspect that had any involvement at the time of Hewitt's murder. As I said, just typical gunner greed. Circumstances are different now. So answering that part of the question is the second part of this mission. We know this. Hewitt was alive, confirmed by autopsy. <coughs> and we never heard of radio for help. This was a well-planned abduction. He was also operating in the same area his body was found. So they likely were in the area long enough to gather intel for an effective abduction. I don't get it. Where do I come in then? Hewitt's body was found less than half a click from the residence of a farmer I'm told you are familiar with. The old man with the house overlooking the ruins of Fort Independence. I believe he was one of the first Adam Cat beneficiaries. Oh yeah, Cooter. I know him. He's a good guy. We dropped one of those household fusion generators off for him a few years back. He likes to brew his own beer, you know? Grows his own grain for it, too. That reminds me, I gotta tell Babs about my suggestion for brew- Thank you, Lily. Talk to him. See if he knows anything about Hewitt's murder or the people who did it. This is strictly fact-finding. Understand? If he saw anything, they likely threatened him with death if he told anyone. So he may need to be bribed or threatened for the info. Okay. I don't need to tell you the doctor's greenhouse is the lifeblood of our entire operation. The water purifier, the food, the cotton, without it, the entire effort withers and dies. Plain and simple. Too if that farmer knows anything, question him. Try to find out who did this and why they went after us. You got it, Sheriff. We won't let you down. One last thing, Lily. Yeah? Don't bite off more than you can chew. This is strictly a fact-finding mission. Hey, it's me! I know my limits better than anyone. <laughs> okay, uh, well. There we go. Okay, so that is going to do for today. Let's, um. Where have we got to go? Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. We can go to the castle. So, um. Yeah, hey. Alright, so I'll see you back here on the next episode still stealing if I do that uh, where we're going to go and see this guy and do some fact finding yeah who knows Quincy sounds interesting yeah 
So, uh, a huge thank you to all who have watched. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, just means between now and the next vid, take care, keep safe. And as always, if you are unfortunate enough to be not very well, I really, really do hope you are the best you can be as soon as possible. All right. Take care all. I'll see you all soon. Ta-da for now. Bye.